So we're here at Epcot, day two, January 2020, Disney vacation for the Festival of the Arts. It's a little after 10 o'clock this morning. We decided to take it easy, go down to the cafe at All Star Music, fill up our little mugs here with coffee. Um, but we also uh, used our, um, we had a water bottle, so we filled those up instead of having to spend money on getting a water bottle. Want to show them? Can I see it? Backpack. See? We're fully prepared this time with little trinkets. But, um, because the water bottles are expensive and or they're a snack credit. So you don't want to waste that on water when you can get it for free at your hotel. And then also filling up your coffee, then you're not wasting that as a credit either. Right. So today, we're going to be going around the world, eating and drinking, because it's Festival of the Arts and they have different food available during different festivals that you normally wouldn't see at the parks. So that's that. We got a fast pass for Soren. We're not going to film any of our rides because we don't want to be that people. We want to actually enjoy our rides. But we'll definitely film the food that we get. And today, seeing as how it's a festival, all the little pop-up stands, uh, most of the food I'd say 98% of the food at these little pop-ups are snack credits. So we're gonna try to use our snack credits and get as many food options as we can today and split them and let you guys know how they are. So we just stopped at our first stand over here at Festival of the Arts, and it was Pop Eats, and we ended up getting the shrimp ceviche, which cost $6, but we're on the Disney dining plan, so we got it for one snack credit. It was like uh, this big. Yeah, it was a little thing, kind of tasted like uh, lemony, shrimp, with salsa. shrimp peppers. Yeah. yeah, wasn't a fan of that. I don't think I'm I gonna get that ever again. Like, I wouldn't come back to the festival just for that. No, not at all. It was, it was good, but not worth six dollars. So that's that. So Katie and I just got done eating agave pork belly for seven fifty over at the El Artista Ambriento stand. Oh my god, it was amazing. It was so delicious. I wanted more. I wish I didn't share it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I would definitely go back to that stand just for that. It had caramelized pork belly in it. It had lentil, pumpkin seed. It was it was delicious. It was so All good. around, like, the caramelized pork belly was hot. And then the lentil salad with the pumpkin seed was cold. So it was a good contrast and a wicked good flavor to it. Definitely try that again. Yep, definitely. So we just went over to Chosa de Margarita and got ourselves a secret menu item, Winnie the Pooh, which is strawberry frozen margarita and mango frozen margarita. What do you think, Katie? Um, I think it's really good. It's a little weak, but it's still delicious. Yeah, it's good. It's doing some, something for me right now. It's cleansing my palate a little bit, refreshing and cold. If you could tell, we brought our own reusable straws here. Because the paper ones keep evaporating in our drinks, so not a fan. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. We got our drinks. Now we're going to head over and get some more food because that's what we're doing today. Andrew. So now we're over here in China. We ended up going to the Painted Panda and we got the spicy beef shu mai. Um, personally, I'm not well-rounded in food and I wasn't a huge fan. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I don't need to have another one, but it was good. Yeah, I liked it too. It just tasted like a regular dumpling, but instead of having like a hard sausage in there, it was like a, a mushy paste of some kind of flavor. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. And then it was on top of like a pickle. I like the cucumber. The cucumber was delicious. 
What? Would I get it again? Would you go out of your way and get it again? I, I personally would like to try something else next time. Yeah. We just went over to the Joy of Tea in the China Pavilion to get our drinks, and I got the Kung Fu Punch. Notice the reusable straw that we got from home. And Katie got beer. I got the Sing Tao. So we just ran into uh, Michael K. Having fun. <laughs> Wish you were here. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Awesome YouTube channel thank when you. it comes to Disney. Appreciate it. Definitely go over. I'll put a description down below to his channel. Thank you, thank but you. Michael, thanks for stopping of by. Of course, and always. Us. That's having a great time. time loving it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So we're over here at the refreshment outpost, and we just got the paintbrush churros. For six fifty, but a snack credit for us because we're on the dining plan. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've had churros and uh, I've had churros, and this just point didn't add up for me on this one. I don't know about you, Katie. Um, so I love churros. It's definitely one of my go-to's whenever I get a chance. But personally, I'm not a sweets person, so the frosting or whatever it was on top didn't like it. I actually had because there were four. I actually had him eat the frosting off of one of mine because I wasn't a fan. <laughs> So and, yeah, I'm not complaining about that because I got a wicked sweet tooth and I love frosting, but I don't know, the dough and the churros, for some reason, I just, I wasn't feeling it. Yeah. No, not my favorite thing that we've had today. Um, actually, probably so far, my least favorite. Yeah. We ended up getting three different items over here. We got the braised beef short rib, seared covina, and the St. Honoré tart. Let's start off with the braised beef. Uh, the braised beef was amazing. It was absolutely delicious. Um, it was very nicely cooked. The, um, I, I don't even know what it was whatever the uh the tomatoes and the uh i think it was the puree this baby tomatoes was absolutely delicious with it it was just a perfect blend parsnip pur puree mm -hmm. broccolini and balsamic but yeah. it had a, a wicked vinegar taste to it but i thought it was good i i thought it was all right it was really 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 moist and chewy even though i know you don't like that word uh you could cut it with a fork yeah perfect perfectly cooked we also got the seared corvina oh my braised gosh. ratatouille and lemon thyme that fish i i've never ever ever had fish like that that was absolutely unbelievable yeah it had a amazing. nice little i had a nice little fishy taste to it but it was fresh it wasn't like a spoiled taste no i and i didn't even that's interesting i didn't even get a fishy taste to it i just i thought it was amazing it was fantastically cooked it was yeah. i would 100 get a whole meal of that it was so good yeah it was delicious and the zucchini yeah. with the tomatoes and even that little puree that they had at the bottom was good it had a nice smooth texture to it the ready chili was good but that's all i can say it was good yeah it was good totally worth it snack credit we used three snack credits so you could trade in your quick service for three snacks so that's what we did over here because we wanted to try two entrees and a dessert so they ended up switching it out for us you just got to make sure you get a cast member that knows how to do it and then we got the tart it's like a caramel tart with some pastries puffs on top yeah i um as you know i'm not a sweets person i hated it <laughs> i gave it all the hip um i ate the cream puff on top it was okay it had almost a caramely bit on it i guess and it was okay if you don't have the dining plan it comes out to a little over 22 bucks but we had the dining plan so we ended up just using three credits and i thought it was totally worth it over here yeah i was glad we were able to try it but the the um dessert i wasn't a huge fan of me neither everything else though, i love we've got a couple beers here in germany i got a grapefruit beer um, I got a cider. And I'm not going to lie, I really enjoy this beer. 
Um, so my cider is delicious and I am a huge cider fan as I like to get Angry Orchard and Down East all the time. So I think it's delicious. So it works for me. Italy. Isn't this romantic? I got an orange cello over here. Pretty damn good. I got a delicious Moscato, which I have to say is very sweet, very, very good. I really don't know how much these things cost because <laughs> I know I took a video of the menu, but I'm just enjoying myself way too much to care. And we've been using gift cards to pay for all our booze, so pro tip. Yeah, we were talking to this gentleman in line because um, we were talking about being carded and he didn't know anything about being able to use Disney gift cards to pay for alcoholic beverages. So, hashtag the more you know. Hashtag the more you know. So now we're in America, but we're not getting anything in America because we, we live, live here. here. So, that's that. <laughs>